What looks like a god awful mess is actually a poor man's Wii power supply. I bought two defective Wii's with broken drives, and one of them I'm giving to a friend of mine, um, which uses an external hard disk, and the drive is completely gone. Um, here's the other one. I actually bought a new drive for this one for 20 bucks. This works very well. And it has the original power supply connected to it and it's turned on at the moment. But yeah, here you have um, the Wii on the back here with the power uh, with the video plug going to right over here. And then um, we have a power a PC power supply and I stripped everything from it except the necessary things this is just uh, fiddled together um, this will have a switch um, to turn it off and on because it doesn't have any on the back um, and this is an um, external hard disk what's good about this hard disk is that um, separate to the serial ATA data and power lines it also has a normal molex connector so i just put it through here and incidentally since this is a rather cheap sata bridge uh, the power lines from this molex are connected directly to the um, sata uh, to usb bridge so if the hard disk gets power the controller gets power this will be connected via usb to the Wii and it's gonna use um, a USB loader um, and I can show you what the plug for the Wii looks like I just took the regular CPU power and sort of ripped it apart so it has two prongs like the Wii power plug and the important thing is the black wire the ground needs to be on the top and I'm gonna show you that now. It is uh, quite an awful mess here, but um, yes, here, right here. And the USB hard disk here. This is an 80 gigabyte disk. Um, the power see this is powered up the hard disk and the Wii is in standby mode now we can turn it on there we go I should have a Wii mode somewhere but I forgot where I put it so I can't really show you that at the moment but as you can see this works like it should and yeah I'm gonna use uh, some WBFS whatever my own Wii is in that cupboard also torn to pieces but still functional except for the SD slot there it is um, yeah the last time I dealt with this stuff was in 2009 when everything was simple and easy to do and no it's not so easy so I can show you that if I break up this connection here it turns off because this is the um, ATX power on signal uh, or power good I think which basically makes the PSU operate as long as this is bridged to ground like so like a regular ADX power supply so if I have a switch here I can effectively turn this into a power supply that you can turn on and off a nice thing would be to wire this off and on switch on the back of the hard disk to here but that would be rather confusing as it doesn't actually have anything to do with the hard disk then this is the power plug, which is a regular PS2 port. 
uh, for the hard disk. This is a really cheap bridge. Um, so yeah, this was a rather nice solution. We just have this going here, and that also powers that. I uh, found a casing from another disc that just happens to fit pretty well. It's not the best it's not the best solution, but it'll work somewhat at least. So yeah, thank you for watching.